Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today is December the 25th, so it is Christmas. Uh, so Merry Christmas. And today I decided to go ahead and record my full manga collection. I've seen a lot of people start posting this video, so I decided to go ahead and record one myself. And yeah, let's just get straight into it because it's gonna be a long video. So I don't wanna waste too much time talking. And uh, sorry, I, don't, I can't get a straight shot here. That's because my Christmas tree is here to the left. And my collection is kind of scattered all over the place. I have some manga in one portion of my office, another portion of my manga in my desk, and then the rest of it is upstairs in a closet. So I'll explain why those are in a closet when we get there. But we're gonna start off in my office, and this is a bookshelf that I have uh, this actually came as a set, so uh, it's a bookshelf on the top and then there's drawers towards the bottom. And then on the other side, we have sort of like a, a Murphy bed, I believe it's what it's called. So it's just kind of to save some space. Uh, this does come down and turns into a queen size bed. So I kind of have this in my office for whenever my, my grandma comes visit me. Uh, she doesn't like going up the stairs, which is where all of my rooms are. Uh, so I kind of have this space for her. But anyways, I just wanted to explain where this shelf is from. And I did get this set from from Wayfair a while back when we first bought this house. Uh, and it wasn't cheap, so yeah, I wouldn't recommend getting this bookshelf. Uh, plus, I only have shelves on the top. Uh, there was an option for a full-size shelf. Uh, so it, you have shelves going all the way to the bottom, but my wife wanted these drawers uh, to kind of hide some stuff down there. So I had to listen to the wife and we ended up getting this one here. But all right, let me now just quickly explain how I decided to organize these shelves. And mine was pretty simple. I mean, I did everything in alphabetical order. However, I do have different sections. Uh, so this one here contains all of like I guess the normal sized manga. Uh, everything is kind of grouped together based on the, so the height of the manga. So anything that's the same height will be in like the same section. So here I have all of the Kodansha, the Viz Media, Yen Press, and a few others, but they, the criteria for being in this shelf is that they all have to be the same height. Uh, so all right, now let's go ahead and get closer in here and I'll give you guys a look at all the manga that I have here. All right, so I apologize, but for this top shelf, I am gonna be holding the camera with my hand, so it is gonna be a little bit shaky. Uh, but anyways, uh, the first one here is the A Silent Voice box set. Uh, this one is pretty awesome. I like this cover here on the front of the box here. So that's what I decided to display here. Um, I haven't read this. A lot of this manga I haven't read, so I'm sorry about that. I I won't have a lot to say about a lot of these, but um, for a lot of them, I have seen the anime, so I'll at least talk about that. Uh, but next up, we have Okame Ga Kill Zero. Uh, from what I understand, this is a prequel to the events that happened in Akame Ga Kill, which I haven't read, nor am I gonna pick up the manga for that one because I'm just gonna kind of keep the anime for that. And I have seen the anime and it was really awesome. I did enjoy the anime, so I picked up both the prequel and the sequel to Akame Ga Kill, we'll, we'll get to that one later, but here is Akame Ga Kill Zero. Uh, one of my favorite covers here was Volume 6, because of the purple there. I, I do, you guys know, I do like my purple covers. And I also enjoyed Volume 8. I just like the white on black contrast here, I like how Akame looks on this cover here. Uh, next up is Bake Monogatari. I picked this one up mainly so that I can read it once I finally decide to watch the anime because uh, I have heard that the anime is a little bit confusing. So yeah, I thought it'd be easier to follow the anime if I read the manga first and then when I'm done with one volume, I'll start watching the anime and kind of just go along that way. Uh, but yeah, for now I have volumes one through five. Uh, for these series, I don't really follow I don't really know who these characters are, but just based on their, uh, the art here, I think I like volume four would probably be my favorite. I think that's a pretty good, good cover there. Uh, next up is Blood on the Tracks. I picked this one up recently off of the 
right stuff birthday sale don't have too much to say here because i haven't there is no anime and i haven't started reading this one but i have heard great things uh don't really have a favorite cover for this one too they both kind of look similar uh next up combatants will be dispatched same thing haven't seen an anime or started reading this one uh, but i picked it up mainly because it's from the same mangaka as um konosuba so I've heard a lot of great things about Konosuba, so I just decided to pick this one up during the Target buy to get one free sale. Up next, again, I picked these up because they were part of the Target buy to get one free sale. Uh, this one I have heard good things about. I believe Manga Noob had a, a, a review up for volume one, so if you guys are interested, uh, definitely go and check out his video. Uh, it seemed like he enjoyed it, so I think I'll probably enjoy this one as well. And then next up, I got Dead Man Wonderland. Uh, this one I wanted to pick up mainly because of this, uh, the way these spines look. I really do love how the white, black, white, black looks here. I am still missing volume six. That's the last one that Right Stuff hasn't sent over yet. Uh, so once I have that, I'll finally have uh, all of these spines complete. And then as far as covers go, I remember liking volume 10, again, because of the purple. Although this one does look a little pinkish, but still like the way this cover looks as well as volume two uh, i just think her character design is really cool and i love how this cover looks here uh, but yeah i haven't read this one nor have i seen the anime yet uh, and i also forgot to mention that a comic kill does that same uh has the same idea where it goes white black white black so i love these covers as well Alright, continuing on to the last series here on the first show is Goblin Slayer. So I have everything I think for Goblin Slayer so far. Uh, this is the prequel, uh, Side Story, Year One, Volumes 1 to 5, and then the original series here starting from Volumes 1 and 2. And then as far as covers for Goblin Slayer Year One, I actually really like how the first volume looks. I just love how all the blood looks here on Goblin Slayer. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, haven't started this series either. Um, for Goblin Slayer, one of my favorite covers is actually further, further into the series. So we'll talk about that one later. But yeah, let's move on to the next show. All right, so on this next shelf here, we're continuing Goblin Slayer. I have volumes three to eight. Uh, some of these volumes are hidden behind this Nindroid of Goblin Slayer. I did pick this one up recently. I don't think I've uploaded the video yet where I unbox this Nindroid. Uh, but yeah, I'm starting to get into Nindroids. Um, I think they'll look pretty nice on the shelf. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about Nindroids. So far, I'm liking them. I just think they have a lot more detail than the Funko Pops do. Although I still love the Funko Pops, but yeah, I'll probably be picking up a few Funko Pops, a few Nindroids. Uh, Nindroids are definitely a lot more expensive, so yeah, I won't be going too too much into them. I'll probably just pick up my favorite series. Uh, but yeah, uh, my favorite cover for Goblin Slayer was actually Volume 5. Uh, I just love how this one looks here. I think it looks pretty good. All right, and here is that other series that I was talking about. This is the sequel to Akamega Kill. So these are events that happened after the anime. And yeah, I actually haven't heard much of anything about this one. So I haven't really heard if it's good or bad, but I loved Akamega Kill. So I just went ahead and picked up uh, both the prequel and the sequel. So yeah, if you guys have, have read this one, definitely let me know your thoughts. Uh, and then continuing here, uh, these I actually picked up in my latest uh, cheap manga haul. Again, I don't think I've posted that video where I unbox my uh, pickups from cheapmanga.com. Uh, but yeah, right now they only had volumes 9 and 10 in stock and these were really cheap. I think it was 11 bucks for both of these volumes. So yeah, I decided to pick these up and these are still sealed. Uh, as far as covers go, I mean, there you guys go. I guess I would prefer uh, volume 10. But yeah, I have seen the anime for High School DxD. Uh, it was probably my introduction into ecchi anime. And yeah, I loved it. That's why I, I decided to pick up the manga as well. All right, and then the one that started it off for me, uh, this was the first manga that I read and 
I just loved reading through this one, mainly because this is my favorite anime series of all time. And I did pick up volumes 32 through 36 because these are the events that happened after the anime end. And I think that's how I'm gonna keep it. I'm not gonna try and pick up the rest of this uh, because it'll just take up more shelf space. And I'm pretty content with just owning the anime and then the manga for the events that happen after the anime. And for Hunter x Hunter, definitely volume 34 is my favorite as far as content wise inside of the manga and the cover. We have Hisoka there and Kroyo, Lucifer, which are both of my favorite characters in this uh, series. So yeah, I have read all of these and I love them so much. Uh, definitely recommend this to anyone who hasn't read or watched the anime. Definitely go and watch the anime as soon as possible and then come and pick up these volumes, I think. I think that's the best way to uh, digest this series, but... But yeah, and then next up we have volumes one through four of Interspecies Reviewers. I haven't started this one, nor have I seen the anime, but I know there was a lot of controversy about this anime. And I think Funimation even like canceled any future seasons or something because of the controversy. I don't remember to honestly what happened there, but um, I did recently watch Anime Man's or the Anime Man's uh, video where he was showing all the top anime from different countries and Jamaica actually had this one as their number one anime of all time which was really funny if you guys haven't seen his video I would definitely recommend watching it uh, but yeah just interesting that Jamaica considers this one to be their top anime uh, even above Hunter x Hunter which is just craziness uh, this is my number one by the way uh, but yeah haven't started reading this one but um, the art style is definitely interesting I don't think I have any other manga with some similar art style to this one so yeah hopefully I enjoy it whoops and then yeah and honestly I don't think I have a favorite cover for these when I kind of went through them and they were all sort of just um I don't know none of them really caught my eye anyways uh next up here another random volume because I did pick this one up again from cheapmanga.com uh, but it was volume three of um, Is It Wrong to Pick Up Girls in the Dungeon on the Side, Sword Oratoria. Um, they only had this one up for sale and it was six bucks. So yeah, for six bucks, I decided to pick it up. And maybe in the future, if I ever see more of these on sale, um, I'll pick up some more. But for now, I only have volume three. All right, next up we have Jujutsu Kaisen's volumes one through six. Uh, for this one, I just kind of jumped on the hype train for this one. A lot of people are talking about this one recently and about the anime and how it's so amazing and it's the next big Shonen Jump series. So yeah, I love Shonen Jump, so I'll probably enjoy this one as well. I haven't started reading it, but I do plan on reading this one soon since it is a pretty short series right now, even though it is ongoing. Uh, my plan for uh, reading manga for 2021 is to just kind of get through my shorter series first, even if they're ongoing, uh, they have a few chapters, I mean, a few volumes, I'll probably read through these series first. So uh, this would be one of them. Uh, one that I probably won't start reading for quite some time because it is pretty long and it is ongoing, but I have seen the first season and I loved it, uh, which is one of the reasons why I decided to pick up the manga. And this is Kaguya-sama. Love is War. Uh, but yeah, as far as the covers go for Kaguya-sama, I love Chika as much as everyone else does. Uh, so I love the covers with her, uh, which are volume two. And volume eight, yeah. Although I did actually like one of the recent ones that I picked up. Um, I just liked, it was black and whitish, which I think was this one, yeah. Uh, so I don't know, something about this one caught my eyes. I don't know, I just like black and white, so uh, I think I like how this one looks here as well. And then another recent series, which I probably will be reading soon because it is only four volumes and that is complete. So I'll be reading this one in early 2021. All of the covers for this one are honestly pretty good. Uh, so I can't really pick a favorite. Here's volume. So. I'll just kind of show all of them to you guys. They're all really nice. Um, 
Uh, so yeah, that was the last volume in this row. So let's move on to the third row. All right, so this row probably has my two favorite current ongoing shonen um, anime. I haven't started reading the manga, so I don't know if I can say the same for the manga, but um, yeah, for the first one here is My Hero Academia. Um, I just love the music and the animation for the anime, I just think are really good. And um, I was hesitant on picking up the entire series. I kind of wanted to do the same as Hunter x Hunter, where I just pick up the manga after the anime ends. Um, but I don't know, I just found a good deal on all of this manga on Mercari. So I decided to pick up everything, but we'll see. If I ever run out of space and I need to get rid of something, uh, this may be one of the ones that I end up uh, just getting rid of the first couple of volumes that cover seasons one through four, which I'm still not cut up with. I've only seen up to season three. I still need to watch season four. Um, but I'm waiting on the limited edition uh, season four part two to be released before I start watching that. Um, but anyways, my favorite cover here, I think it's pretty obvious if you've seen my uh, Target buy to get one free sale video, which I will link up here just in case you haven't. But my favorite volume here has to be volume 25. Again, it is a purple volume. So that's one thing w why I love it. But just this cover here, man. Um, I just think Tomura looks really good here. Uh, this is my favorite cover so far. I don't, I don't know if there will ever be one that will uh, have a better cover than this one, but uh, we'll see. I do also love volume 24, I believe, the one right before this one that actually has My Hero Academia, but then the hero is covered up by villain. I thought that was pretty funny, but I don't have that one yet. I did order it, but it hasn't. It just hasn't come in yet. Uh, the, the deal on Mercari was for volumes one through 22, I believe. And then uh, that deal also came with this here, uh, My Hero Academia School Brief. But this is a novel, so I'll probably be doing a giveaway for this one pretty soon. Uh, once I reach 500 subscribers, I'm planning on doing a giveaway on a few manga, some that I have duplicates of, um, and this one here. So yeah, still haven't reached 500 quite yet. I'm almost there. I'm hoping to get there by the end of December, but I don't think that'll happen because I'm still, I'm like 75 subscribers away, which is kind of a lot for me. I don't gain subscribers that quickly, so uh, we'll see. But yeah, if you guys are interested in this one, let me know. And uh, yeah, definitely look out for that video once I reach 500 subscribers and you might be able to get this one. But all right, the next Shonen series on this uh, row is One Punch Man. Uh, this is one that I've seen both season one, which I love, and season two, which I also enjoyed, even though a lot of people didn't. I loved both seasons so far and I hope they continue it. Uh, I hope the season two didn't kind of screw things up and they won't continue the series anymore. Um, but I think there's enough people that still love One Punch Man, so I think they might continue it. Um, but I haven't seen any announcements recently. Um, but anyways, I do have the manga. Uh, this one, I did want to pick them all up, even though I have seen season one through two of the anime. And the main reason is because of the art style. I mean, uh, I have read a little bit about... I have read a bit through volume one. And just the art in this manga, I think it's probably one of the best. Um, a lot of people always talk, or a lot of people are always raving about the art style. And man, I have to agree. Just look at all that detail on these panels here. Uh, so yeah, definitely wanted to pick up all of these, and I will read through everything at some point, but not anytime soon. Because again, um, this is a pretty long series, so I'm gonna wait to. Uh, get to these till later um, But for this one my favorite covers are of course Volume 7. This is a lot of people favorite with Geno's here on the cover Holding the earth looks really great and I also actually really like volume 4 I don't know why I just like how he looks here and then the detail on this hand Just looks really good and I just love how this cover looks uh, But still volume 7 is still my favorite 
And then a series that I do plan on reading pretty soon is Spy Family. Uh, I've heard a lot of, again, similar to Jujutsu Kaisen. There's been a lot of talk about this series here and a lot of people love it. So uh, yeah, I'll be reading this one probably before Jujutsu Kaisen. Um, and again, all of these covers are actually pretty good. It has the three members of the family, the husband who is a spy, uh, the daughter who is like a telepath, and then the wife who's an assassin. Uh, this is actually one that I'm really looking forward to, but I'm just trying to finish some of the series that I'm reading through right now. Right now I'm reading through Bleach and the Quintessential Quintuplet. So once I get through with those two series, because I do want to finish those before I move on, I'll probably start reading this one here. It's pretty high up there in my to be read list. Um, but all right, that's everything in my, that's everything in the third row. Uh, let's move on to the fourth and final row for this shelf here. All right, so the first series here on this last uh, row is The Promised Neverland. Uh, again, this is one that I have seen the anime for, and I love the anime so much, and I wanted to know what happens next, even though I know that there's gonna be a season two and they're probably gonna finish this series because it's really popular. And who knows, eventually, if I really love the anime um, over the manga, I may end up getting rid of this one in the future. Uh, but for now, I do plan on reading this at some point and completing this. Uh, I'll probably finish reading this before the anime ever ends because I plan on reading this next year in 2021. But yeah, I mean, from what I've seen in the anime, uh, this series is basically about these orphans, Emma, Norman, and and Ray, they're like the three top students at this orphanage. And um, uh, through some unfortunate circumstances, they actually find out that the orphanage that they're at isn't really preparing them to be adopted. Uh, rather, they are being prepared to be eaten. Um, and I don't think that's a spoiler. That kind of happens in the first episode of the anime. So yeah. I just thought it was really dark and really interesting and it was i mean the anime was really interesting throughout the whole series and uh, as far as the anime goes it's just once they find out that they're actually being prepared to be eaten uh, they're trying to prepare themselves and the other kids from the orphanage to escape and i won't say whether or not they escape but yeah i really enjoyed the anime and uh, i can't wait to actually start reading through this one but again won't I uh, won't get to this one for some time, but as far as the volumes go, I remember my favorite being this one. Uh, I don't know, I just thought that it stood out. I thought it looked pretty cool, and I'm not sure what's going on here. It seems like there's some sort of relationship between Emma and uh, one of the demons, I'm guessing that is. Um, but yeah, uh, this was just one of my favorite covers. Uh, moving on, these are the last few volumes in this shelf, and the first few here is volumes 1 through 11 of the Quintessential Quintuplets. Uh, so far, I've watched the first season and I've read the first four volumes of the Quintessential Quintuplets, and I'm loving it so far. It's like a harem series, um, but there's not quite so much like fan service involved. It's actually quite wholesome. And uh, it follows Uesugi, who ends up having to tutor these quintuplets, um, but they're not quite all on board. And they give him a hard time, but eventually they all somehow uh, do get interested in him. And the series is just kind of a mystery, you trying to figure out uh, which one of the quintuplets he's actually going to end up marrying. Because as far as I understand it, uh, there is going to be an ending where he marries one of them. Uh, so yeah. I've said it a few times already, I've talked about this series a lot these past this past month, but I am definitely rooting for Miku, and definitely her covers are my favorite, uh, volume 4 being one of them, and volume 9. So here she's actually with her wedding dress, um, but yeah, she's the favorite, my favorite of the quintuplets, and uh, we'll see what happens, but... Um, I have a feeling that Uesugi is not going to end up with her, um, which I guess will maybe make me a little bit sad, but I'm still, 
I still want to go through the whole journey and just read through all of these volumes. Um, so this is one that I have already started, so I don't want to move on to another series until I finish this one, at least the volumes that are out so far. So I have seven more volumes to get through. But it's all content that is not included in the anime, although season two is going to be released pretty soon. Um, but I probably won't watch that. I'll probably wait until the anime gets released in Blu-ray. So I'll read through the manga first and then watch the anime at a much later date, for season two at least. Anyways, uh, the next few series here, these are actually some etchy titles. Um, I have Triag X, uh, Trinity 7, and Val X Love. Val X Love I'm actually currently reading. It's a pretty short series, so I'm actually, I took a pause from the quintessential quintuplets and I'm reading through Val um, X Love. I've already read through the first two uh, volumes and I'm actually enjoying it. I mean, for what it is, I mean, the story is not the greatest. Our main protagonist here, Takuma, um, he kind of just, his home gets overrun by all of these girls who are Valkyries and um, they're basically, basically demon hunters, but there's kind of like a leveling system where their powers don't level up unless they go on dates with the main character Takuma although in some, in most cases they um, they have to level up quickly so in order to do that they quickly skip over first and second base and go into like straight third base territory if you guys know what I'm talking about but uh, yes for what it is which it is just a bunch of fan service um, I would say that it is pretty good if that's what you're looking for and yeah, I only picked up the first three volumes, but I am enjoying it enough that I probably will end up picking up more uh, once they go back on sale, because unfortunately they're not on sale anymore. And then Triage X and Trinity 7. Um, I haven't started these series, so I don't really have too much to say about them. But I am interested in starting Triage X just because um, uh, this one is more mature and it actually takes place outside of high school. And I feel like I've been reading a lot of series and watching a lot of anime where uh, the characters are in high school. Uh, so yeah, I'm interested to just kind of read something where we're in a different location. Alright, so that's everything in this shelf here. Um, I think I may actually make this into different parts because uh, this was pretty long. I don't want to have like an hour two or even like an hour and a half to two hour long video talking about all of my manga. Uh, so I think it might be more manageable if I just split it up into different parts and that way you guys can just watch my videos at your own leisure. Uh, watch part one one day, part two another day. Or if you guys want, you can just watch them all in one day. But yeah, I think I'm going to do it that way. And that'll conclude this video. Uh, so yeah, look forward to the next part, which we will be going over all of the manga that's at my desk. And that one kind of just has all of the Viz Bigs. Uh, the, sorry, not the Viz Bigs, the Viz Signatures and just kind of manga that are the same size as those um so yeah don't forget to like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video